Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Auntie Chan. I'm Dixie Lynn Cartwright. And I'm Lee Dawson. We didn't agree on you interviewing <laughs> I want to introduce um, an immigrant trying to take our jobs. Um, Lee Dawson is here! Hi! Hello. I'm too drunk. Before we get too deep into Lee's thoughts, because he is British, so he talks for all of England and Scotland and Ireland, which is part of the UK, so it's different. There's different sure. countries. <laughs> I, I watch Murder, She Wrote, I guess. <laughs> our Drag Race UK review last week <laughs> was the most controversial no. episode we have ever had. No. I don't know why. Let's quickly talk about it and then we'll move on. People were mad we didn't get the references. No. People were mad that we didn't do our homework to understand the references. So let's just, we're gonna put it on the table for ya. Chan, you had a really good message. Do you wanna kinda say oh, it again? Oh, I did? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, uh, it was something along the lines of like, we don't know who Pete Burns is. Do you know who Barefoot Contessa is? Something like that. <laughs> it wasn't that. It was that we are Americans who consume American media. Mm. Unfortunately, American media is very selfish, and I know Americans are not selfish at all. We do so much for the world. <laughs> we um, established democracy. We, uh, we did, in countries that didn't want it. So anyway, we, we don't consume all of that media, and disrespect is not the same as ignorance. So just because we didn't understand the reference, uh, I don't feel like we were disrespectful to the references. I'm so eloquent behind a keyboard. You are, honestly. Wow. Yeah, you're terrible, here. We do our viewing parties at Sidetrack. We watch the episode and then we immediately come into the basement and record our review. So we don't have time to look up references and also it's drag race mm -mm. is it worth it to look up a reference no mm -mm. it's very fun to say no in this hat <laughs> yes mm -mm. You're not looking up references in that hat. No. I found out that references are very important to yes. British people. So, very if cool. that is important to you, you can watch the review of Novempia. That's oh. my favorite. They're my favorite. Who's your favorite British reviewer? You I don't use know. them all the time in your recaps. You mean movie bitches? No. no. The two blonde it's a drag queens. British drag queens. Oh, teabag. They're great. You can watch Teabag yeah. or Novempia. We're gonna give you ignorant American opinions. You speak for all British people. Go ahead. I completely accept your opinions and and we're right all go the time. For it. Yeah, of course. Wonderful. Thank you, Lee. So anyway, if you don't want our opinions, go somewhere else. I love that day. Yeah, fuckers or oh, something British. Oh, <laughs> what's a British way to say fucker? Wankers. Wankers. Yeah, fucking wankers. Suck a fucking knee scab, you fucking yeah, wanker. I'm so good at British accents. Sure. Okay. That. Can we hear some? <gasps> I'll do the rest of it in a British accent. Please. Do it. Please. And I want different regions too. I want Manchester, I want Cockney. The Ukraine. Of course, I understand. Do Ukraine. I'll do the Ukraine, my favorite part of yes. England, the Ukraine. <gasps> Scouse. Please, can I do a Scouse accent right of now? Of course. Three, two, one. Of course. So then we went and got a biscuit. Is this offensive? Uh, yes. Is there British slang or references that we need to know, just in general, about UK? I don't think drug? so. You know, I felt an odds because this is this episode was Downton Abbey. I've never seen Downton Abbey. <gasps> I don't have time for it. Who has time for Downton Abbey? What did you want to play? Who has Whatever. time for rich people in buildings? I don't. Okay, can I tell you though? There was so much. There was so much intrigue. So they would get letters and then they'd be like, this is a crazy letter. I should deliver this to Lady Mary. And then they'd spend 45 minutes delivering the letter. <laughs> and it was groundbreaking television. I mean, you're clue more clued up than me. I love Downton Abbey. There we are. I've been to um, England once and I was in high school. It was before the towers fell. Oh, that brings me to a question <gasps> I wanted to ask oh, you. Okay. Where were you? Like 9-11. Oh. <laughs> Do you believe that Princess Diana's death was an inside job? Oh, oh. No disrespect, Matt. 9-11 was clearly an inside job. Global warming is a hoax. Mm -hmm. Do you think <laughs> Princess very Diana serious was here killed by this. the Queen? Literally no comment. <laughs> <gasps> I think we were just canceled again. Oh. Chan, do you have any questions for Lee? What's your favorite color? Um. <laughs> Turquoise. Ah, oh, well, thank God we have it. 
in spades here. We are going to go through the episode with an actual Brit. So you cannot complain that we don't get the references. Yes. Because we literally have a reference sitting between no, I'm us. I'm here for the conversion. And what if there want? is anything to complain about, take it out, Willie. Exactly. What did you think of the episode? Um, I thought the episode was long. This is the episode uh, we got rid of... <laughs> Gothy Kendall. Yes. Gothy Kendall. Gothy Kendall. Gothy With that killer lipstick. Gothy, she's Kendall. Gothy Kendall. So she's gone. Um, and then we're back in the workroom with nine queens, which I love that the UK, y'all choose a smaller number. US, yeah, we're up no, to like, so what, 24? You don't need all those filler like queens. It's too much. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, like, with the amount of queens we have, it's perfect. Like, you miss someone every week when they get eliminated, it's a bigger deal. Yeah. I guess I can actually talk about this now, but you guys haven't heard about this, but it'll be tomorrow, it'll be out tomorrow, I guess. Okay. So I'm doing stuff for the BBC. Oh! So I'm doing like, um, two minute, three minute recaps for the BBC. So, and you guys are in it. You guys are in the yes! special. We're gonna what? be in the BBC? Yeah! Um, oh shit! I guess, I guess it'll be on the pages and stuff, but I don't know if I'll have time to do normal recaps. Honestly, like because it's... your recaps are—they're so good. They're Thank so you. laborious. Too. Thank you. And the idea that uh, you have to put because, uh, like, I edit all of our videos. Just like the quick edits that I do take forever, so mm. I can't imagine. And your meme knowledge. It's just a lot of trial and error, honestly. It's... Do you keep the meme knowledge in your muscles? It's somewhere. Yeah, it's just in a big folder somewhere. Just all these quotes and clips and stuff. Yeah, the Drag Race UK stuff, um, I don't know how much I'm allowed to say, but like, because it's the first week, like, we didn't really know what to do with it, but we cut it down from like 10 minutes to 8 minutes to 5 minutes to 3 minutes. So it's literally just like 3 minutes of madness. That's it, exciting. That's, yeah, Wait, for the exciting. BBC. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. But, yeah. Girl, we're gonna be celebrities <laughs> international. Hey, I guess so. We should go there. We have so many fans that hate us now. <laughs> okay, so this episode, the Vivian won last week, so she had to rank from top to bottom. Which I thought was great. It's great. the shadiest thing. Great though. idea, though, by the producers. Do you Perfect. think so? Yeah, of course. It's very early for her to decide a top and a bottom. I know, but like ranking the girls, that's perfect for Where would drama. you be on the top and bottom? I would be on the bottom. Like, oh. Yeah. Always. This brew cap is over. Goodbye. <laughs> she chose Vinegar Strokes for some reason. The Vivian chose Vinegar Strokes as her biggest competition. Yeah. I, um, I have to laugh. In this economy, you law? have to laugh. You have, you to, have laugh. to laugh. That's insane. It is a bit insane. <laughs> That's insane. She looks crazy. I don't really know what she's really proved to be on the top so far. Were you impressed by her lip sync last week? No! Her yes. wig reveal was silky with glitter. Stop! Yeah. You're silky. I don't. I don't know what's silky. <gasps> Who's si Okay, if you watch his recaps from season one, <laughs> he doesn't out. include Silky, he puts a Christmas tree in front of her. <laughs> the least person who's threatening is Scaredy Cat. Scaredy Cat. Yes. Which, <gasps> oh, that's a, a little foreshadowing for this episode too. Oh, spoiler alert. If you haven't watched the episode, why are you watching this? Yeah, why are you <laughs> watching a recap? What do you think of Scaredy Cat? I really like her. I think she's brought um, strong looks. You Why like are you her? looking at me, Lila? Alexis, look. what did you think of the look? I like her strong choices. Okay. And I like that she's... Okay, Alexis, that's I enough. think it's more <laughs> that... <laughs> Lee! Oh. I'm totally kidding. I think it's more that, like, because my contour is so natural, and, like, you can barely even tell I've done it. Did you even know I was wearing contour? Are you wearing makeup? No. What's I that can't. bump in your neck? <laughs> <laughs> That right there. It's a goiter. <laughs> <laughs> so we find out because she's in the bottom, plot twist, the team captains are gonna be the Vivian and then Scaredy Cat because yes. they said, let's take the weakest player and put them in charge of a team. What could go wrong? Mm. Brexit. I mean. So they uh, had to do, they were on teams, they had to do a Downton Abbey thing. Now, is Downton Abbey big in the UK? It is, but I've never watched it. I'll right. explain it to you, all right? There's a castle, right? Oh, I love it. I'm with you There's so far. There's rich white people. Oh, I gotta watch it. On I'm the out. top floors. No, I'm out. There's poor white people underneath them. That's oh, comedy. Okay. Do you know what happens? I'm back in. They fuck. They fuck. <laughs> fuck! I gotta watch it. I must Worth watch it. it. Yeah, I'm delicious. 
Your accent is perfect. It's spawned. It's We're caught. We're fucking destroyed. Yeah, we're fucking like the spongos. Fucking balls. Your balls. We like to take your balls. Do what you need. Fucking six fucking cocks That's right now. That's all we need. That's it. So we need fucking six cocks. Driving four D. That's it. Driving four D. How much cock destroyer music or er, videos do you watch for your root <laughs> too cats? many? Oh god. All right, so this is we are very off track. Okay. And then there's a very sad part where they're getting ready for the runway. Something Wong um, says that she hasn't come out to her parents. Yes. That was so sad. So real. So real. So real. Well, she's. I think she's my age, mm -hmm. and I get it. Like, cause she was talking she's 50? about. Me too. And she's also first generation Chinese, so I can't even imagine the pressure there. Of course, yeah. That's gotta be nuts. I'm first generation uh, country piece of shit. Oh. Kim Chi on her season too. She wasn't out to her parents about doing drag. Do you know what no, the worst yeah. thing was when Kim Chi? So Kim Chi, obviously Chicago queen. We love her. Yeah, uh, love. I once paid kimchi a burrito bowl to do a wig for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet she took that burrito bowl. She did. Yes. After her season, that was what everyone wanted to know. People come to meet and greets and be like, tell me about your personal relationship with your mother. Oh Jesus. no, it's that's, too much. That's rough. No, we don't need that. Not we don't need greet. that. No. Have you done a meet and greet? Yeah, I've had three people. So we have that touching moment. Uh, my favorite part was, though, all the girls were halfway done with their makeup. Uh, vinegar strokes hadn't even started. <laughs> hadn't even started. No, and that explains a lot when you see the runway. <laughs> Let's take it to the runway. Okay. okay. Runway. Run, Let's run, do it. Run, run, runway. Runway. I don't know the order because my phone is crazy. Okay. Um, so we're gonna go, first we have the Vivian. Uh, the theme was Bond Girls. Mm -hmm. She looks stunning. She does. No, she, looks, she looks does stunning. look good. Beautiful. She, mm -hmm. And what about her acting challenge? She was Dame Maggie Smith. She was good. No problem. I thought she was great. Yeah, right? I liked her too. Are you a big Vivian fan? I am. I, I have no, pro no problems with her so far. I just get top three vibes so oh. far. Oh. Uh, do you? Do you know something? No. We don't oh. know. I, I don't. I generally don't, but I get top three vibes. Is her, is her first name the... Mm -hmm. I feel like it is. Because Vixen's first name is The, but I just call her Vixen. All right, uh, moving on. Uh, up next, Vinegar Strokes. <gasps> I didn't like the wig. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it wasn't. She's a, a Bond villain, and she wore something she would wear to an interview to become an accountant. <laughs> I did love F Tits, Mrs. F Tits. I thought I was nice. But the look didn't do anything, yeah. Maybe she was working behind the scenes, you know, like how R works for James Bond, and she's like. Ooh. Oh, you mean M? He's right behind you. <laughs> Whatever letter they are. Up next, we had Scaredy Cat. Uh, she was dressed as a rescue ranger. I really like this look. I thought this was a really strong look. Explain that to me. <gasps> really? Ooh. Yes! I we thought this, conflict. I thought this was a really strong look. I thought it had a story. I thought it had an execution. She sold it on the runway. What's your problem with this? Let me see the look again. She's a Bond villain in like a fighter pilot jacket and socks. Maybe. Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? You like that? Are you Amelia kidding? Amelia Earhart disappeared in the per Bermuda Triangle. Amelia time. Earhart did not die so that she so could that do she this on the it. runway. Uh, oh, Chan, you have to side with me on this. Let me see this. Do you not feel this? I thought this was fun. She had a concept. She came out on the runway. Chop. Maybe Compared it's a British thing. Got the end all last week. Let's move on. We had Bag of Chips, who was Laser Minnelli. Chips. I thought this was good. Oh. I liked it. Mm. However, it looked like she put together a Liza Minnelli look and then was like, I can make this work. Did she win the challenge? She did. I thought, yeah, I thought it was. Laser strong. Minnelli is hilarious, but I'm just saying, like, as a Bond villain. Lisa? Like, that was her name, Laser Minnelli. Oh. The pun. What did you think I said? I thought you were just trying to say Liza. You thought I was having <laughs> a hard time? Like, yes. <laughs> it kind of felt like she I just, agree. She had a Liza Minnelli look and she thought, laser, and she was done. I would love to have seen little tiny lasers pop out of her Okay. Days. That's a fun idea. That's what you do. Obviously. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. All right, Social so we had Cheryl Hole in um, Mother of the Bride dress. That's very J Lo. And I then love... she revealed, hang on, I gotta find it. Oh, okay into the oddest fitting bodysuit. <laughs> so Cheryl Hole knows I love her to death. Like, I love Cheryl Hole. Okay, Huge good. Huge fan. There's no one on the cast I love more. But I didn't think this look was strong, too strong on the runway. Um, oh. 
And I think- The tits are so low, but the cut of the panty is so high. It just didn't make sense to me. The sh just the shape of it didn't really sell it to me, personally. The hair and makeup though, Polish. Wow. Beautiful. Very good. I think she's beautiful. I wasn't a massive fan of the wig. Why? Am I wrong in this? Yes. <laughs> Big fan of Cheryl though. The same. Mm -hmm. I'm, okay. I'm good. very much sure. Who do you like? Who do you, who do you guys like? Who are your Chan, tops? Chan, who are your top? I really enjoy Blue. Okay. Blue Hydrangea. Okay. She's my pick because she's just... Every look is conceptualized and so comedic. Okay. And I'm like, wow, and it's polished too. Yeah. yeah. The so she's my pick. Last episode was the biggest like transformative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me. What were you? I just burped up. I swear. <laughs> Ew! Can I smoke up? Um. Oh God. <laughs> I like blue as well, I, but I think the person I'm turning on the most right now. I do love Cheryl Hole. This is a okay. very close. She's a very close second. Good. It's Davina. Okay. Uh, I she's from Manchester. That's good. I assume that's somewhere you know. <gasps> that's where I live, so oh, yeah, sure. I know of it. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> sure. Oh, speaking of, we have Davina. Um, I thought this was a good look. Loved it. Right. Yes. Okay. I didn't mind that the daggers were little. I, I got it. I just thought until she you know, obviously spoke on the wrong way, she just seemed very annoyed and like out of it. I think my problem with the Davina at the moment, I'm a big fan of Davina, obviously she comes from Manchester. She's not having fun with it at all. Like the Meet the Queen, she seems very like she on guard. She, well, sure, but she, it was like I just force. feel like she has such a guard up all the time so far. You think it's I fake? feel like she's not having fun with it. Mm. And this episode sort of like solidified that for me so far. Well, it's only episode two, and I maybe know, but she's there's trying only to eight. get... There's only eight episodes. Oh, that's true, which I love. Time. Why is that? Okay, it's the only British person in the world. <laughs> Let me ask you. All British series are very short. They're very little. Which is great. Are you worried about like your time on Earth? Are you worried that you're not going to be able to finish the series? I mean, I'm always worried about that, but I think a short series is better. I don't, don't think there's anyone I'm going to be happy to see the back of. I'm going to be sad for everyone to leave so far. Don't you feel the same? No. Because I it's such a smaller cast, don't you feel like you're going to miss everyone? I love over-investing in something. Comparatively. Oh, you mean like, like series that are long? Yes. Yes. Do you feel like you- Friends? There are too many seasons of Friends. Too many. Do you feel like you've had enough of a breather from All Stars for Dragon yes. UK? Yes. You do. Okay. Yeah. It, was, we're about it, was hard. it was hard to put them all together and immediately go into this. Even though everyone online thinks that this is not the case. We're so excited mm -hmm. that it started. Okay, good. And we're so excited for the like the breath of fresh air that it brings us. My main problem with season 11, I'm just going to put this out there right now because people are like, why are you cutting this person out? Why are you cutting the season so short? I did not enjoy season 11 one bit. I thought it was the most overproduced season of Dragon yes. we've had so far. I, I the reason I didn't enjoy it is because everything felt so forced. And the reason I, I didn't in, include that person in the recaps, because if you know when they say, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't, don't say, say anything? anything at all. That's exactly what I did. I cut them out completely because I felt they were so forced and fake. I didn't enjoy them one bit in the show because not one bit of them felt authentic. And that's exactly that's why bold. I cut them out. Chan has another gig <laughs> for some reason. So well done, we Chan. are going to tag her out. I Coming in to substitute, tag Alexis P. Looking like a circus tent. Please, thank Hi. you so much. Thank All you. All right, um, come on, Akiki. Pardon my tits. Oh. Okay, so we just have a few girls left to go through. Great. Um, up next, thank you for your enthusiasm. Yes. We have blue hydrangea. Blue hydrangea with a triple T. So it spelled out 007. I thought this was a strong look. Oh, I didn't even Loved notice it. that they spelled 007. Oh, you didn't? No. Right. That's She's cute. Been for a right. While. I thought it was adorable. And I, I loved the headpiece. Yeah. Her performance. Not great. In the challenge? Yeah. In the challenge. Not great. I have urgent news. Not good. But that was phenomenal. Thank you. But I think I might win a rupee a badge. Yes. Which, okay, can you explain that to the viewers? Yeah, the American viewers don't know it's, why. It's a yeah. play on Blue Peter. So Blue Peter's like a, uh, just like a kid show. So I actually won a Blue Peter badge when I was a kid. I baked a tortoise cake and they said, Here's a badge. But if you win, if you save someone's life, you get a gold Blue Peter badge. If you like ever put someone's life in danger to save their life, that you were too late. I mean, I wanted that badge, so obviously yeah. I, I drowned someone. Yeah. I had to. I needed that badge. But you know what? Tim, Tim wouldn't have grown up to be anything. 
Well, he wrote with his left hand. He was a psychopath. <laughs> The BBC, it's a it's a publicly funded thing, right? So they can't yeah, so they give, can't give money. They out. can't give money at all. Then we had Crystal, the Canadian. I really like this look. I but really liked it too. I'm excited for Crystal. I think she's gonna bring good looks. Same. I like her. You like Crystal as a boy. I like both. I'll, I'll, I'll give her my blue Peter. No, I really fancy Crystal. The first thing I said when I saw her, because I did the movie bitches review last week. The first thing Okay, I... rub it in her face so no, you did because... movie bitches no. first. Uh, but when I saw her, I said, she's really hot. Because she is. She is. Does she have okay. tattoos? But I think Does she's she have tattoos under her? I did wonder about that. Because she's yeah. got two perfectly spaced dots. I like her and I think she's going to go far in this competition. Me too. I Me too. I think she's going to do well. I I'm really good. excited. Finally, we have Something Wong with her bald head and she was carrying a Siberian Husky on no, her arm. Not a strong look. But I, Not strong, but I didn't hate it. No, I don't mind something wrong. I really enjoy something wrong. Agreed. And I liked when when she you could tell she heard Michelle say back rolls. She was like, ah. That was rude as hell. Michelle's always been rude to uh, making her comments. Yeah. She blurs this the lines. Was, this was pretty rude. Then we find out that Team Vivian won because obviously Team Scaredy Cat was a Fucking disaster. This is one of those things though where if they said you are all gonna be judged individually, I feel like something would be in the bottom. Something definitely would have been that's why she said, Oh, I'm saying she she knew she had messed but up. But it's not one of those things, it's no. my group. So. I think it's a thing of like, why does Drag Race want Mariah Carey to happen? I had that same thought because do you remember season last season they eleven had, the the Church of Mariah or the whatever the Church of Mariah that was so bad mm -hmm. and then they were like let's put in a Mariah Carey what is that does she have stock in in Rue or something Rue stock I think she's just low hanging fruit I think she's an easy target speaking of low hanging fruit do you remember that movie where Graham Norton is no. like the teacher and he shits on the glass coffee table. Above the guy. Do you remember what? That? Me and Dixie are both leaving. There's a right gay now. movie. I think it might be called Not Another Gay Movie, where Graham Norton's the hot teacher, and the guy finally hooks him, and he, they go to Graham Norton's house, and they think he's gonna have a hot time, and then he and Graham Norton's like, just lay here, and then he puts the glass coffee table on him, and then he. Okay, to be fair, if anyone steamer. ever shit on me, I would want a glass coffee table between me and their, their poop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. That's how we do it. So the winner is Team Vivian, but the winner of everything is Bag of Chips. Mm -hmm. I thought Bag of Chips, correct me if I'm wrong, delivered a very British uh, sitcom No, she did good. She did but right? Wasn't it very kind much of- Much better. That's right. very slap can happy. I, can I hear you do that? Oh, sure, of course. Will you hold my Of course. Thank you. It was called Another Game Movie. I'm ready for this. March back! Uh, it was very like s slapstick, over mm -hmm. the top. No, it's fun. Reminds me of the Are You Being Served, Keeping Up Appearances. Do you want to hear something crazy? Sure. I watched Are You Being Served, uh, which was like a 70s sitcom. Uh -huh. I watched it. it on PBS growing up. Mm -hmm. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was a current series. So I just thought that, that uh, the UK was like, three decades behind us. So I thought everyone was still in the 70s there. And if I ever went to visit, it'd be like being in the 70s. I mean, you're not, you're not wrong. <laughs> Do you I truly it? thought it just took that long for fashion to go across the ocean. I used to think that my mom never went to sleep. But she was always awake when I went to bed, and then she was also always awake when I woke oh my up God. in the morning. So I just thought like she didn't sleep anymore. Well, she was a Texas mom, so I don't know that they have anything else to do. Just say bless your heart and, and make and buy guns. The bottom two. <gasps> Can were... I say I real quick? Yeah. I have never been more jealous of anyone in my life than I am of these girls getting to be judged by Maisie Williams. And when she said that thing about the knife, I don't think that. I think Game of Thrones was probably just coming out when they were filming. I'd seen your Game of Thrones review, so no, I know you're not the biggest. <laughs> uh, but I do drink a lot. She doesn't care. Okay, good. But if you if cool. you like Game of Thrones, Alexis has a Game of Thrones review called OMG GOT. It's Dixie good. Was on I enjoyed it. it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Dixie was on an episode. It's on my other. YouTube. I dressed um, as a Slytherin. I misunderstood the assignment. <laughs> so the bottom two were blue. And wait, I got it. And scaredy cat. Yeah. Uh, so they had to lip sync to Venus. Yes. Venus. 
uh, which is my favorite commercial. Number one commercial. Right? Like, they you know their lives. Is that worldwide? Because we had that too. Yeah, Gillette Oh, Venus. it must be. No. I'm your Venus. That's crazy. I'm, but yeah. Yeah. They just um, film one commercial and just, sure. Well, we're we're all hair hairless in this world. What did you think of this lip sync? I. So so traditionally, I think the UK queens don't lip sync, right? That's not. That's that's I don't maybe know. a new I don't thing. No, though. I I feel like they do. You said you don't go out. I don't, but He's I feel like busy. they still perform. Well, because uh, I what we what I've heard a lot is a, is a lot of queens in the UK live sing or they you know do panto to acting that whatever. Yeah. So I think lip syncing is hey. maybe not something that a lot of these girls have a lot of experience in. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna say this, I, I've changed my attitude about it. Cause last one I was like, oh, this is stupid. A lip sync should not be about tricks and splits, and it should be about like performing mm -hmm. and I think it's going to be really interesting to see a full season of lip syncs where they're like getting to Agreed. the point of a lip sync Agreed. rather than just making it a contest of who can do the craziest shit because I know for me and for you not to put you on blast if we ever had to do that we oh, would not no. be doing I didn't think, any I kind think of Charlie no. I would plant my feet oh, no, and no, I would no. go I'd look like a like a mannequin that was animated so Dita Ritz's um, friend of the pod Dita's, um, Dita's this will be. she doesn't do death drop, she doesn't flip, she doesn't do splits. It's just she performs the song. She sells the and song I, very I well. Miss, yeah. I miss that. And that is what lip syncing is about. Yeah. To me, in my heart. So I am excited to see more of that. And did I think, I think we're going to get these it. two did that? No. I thought Blue did great. Blue did fine. She was stronger than, uh... Okay, scared. but Scaredy Cat started by saying, I've never performed. I think Ske obviously we had Scaredy Cat and Gothy Kendall. It was their first time performing. Do you not know what perf what competition you're signing up for? There is right. going to be a lip sync at some point. Even if you're the best of the best, like top four. I don't four. think you think about that though, because you just think about like all the like, I'm going to be internationally famous. I mean, I'm obviously, to but there's going, still to be gonna an, do well. there's going to be an end point where you're recorded on camera lip syncing to a song. Have you ever lip synced? I haven't, but I can do one right now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we're going to sing. We're going to sing um, together. We're going to sing. Yeah, we're going to sing the old British classic, uh, fish, fish and Chips Today. Okay, okay. Ready? okay, you ready? Uh huh. You have to lip sync and we're going to sing. Okay, okay. ready? Oh, you're getting Stay on the, in the frame. It's Fish and Chips Today. <laughs> I don't These are reveals. You need to be cherry. These are reveals. Woo! Woo! I've won. The monarchy. No, that's is it. Dead. No, I've won. Oh, okay. Shantae is dead. Thank you. Congratulations. I bet movie bitches didn't allow you to do that. No. All right. Um, <laughs> Scaredy Cat went home. She's 19. She has so much life ahead of her until global warming I mean, kills us all. Oh, fuck her. 19 and she's already yeah. on TV. Oh, can you How imagine? Dare she? Yeah. Her my final child. line saying this wasn't a bad first gig no. was perfect. Oh, that is that hilarious. what she said? Yeah. She said this I missed, a bad first that's gig. the only thing I missed. That, that was, was so cute. Is there anything you want to leave us with? Everyone just be a bit more open in the comments, obviously. Um, I think it's a really fun series. It's the most fun I've had with Drag Race in a long time. I didn't feel connected with season 11 or 10 that much. But I feel like Drag Race, obviously, Drag Race UK, hits quite close to home. Are you enjoying the series? Like, I'm loving to, it. Compared to the US one. I'm loving it. Hey, you're right, I got bored with seasons 10 and 11. This is like a breath of fresh air. Okay, that's breath exactly it. Well, we want to thank uh, Lee Dawson so much thank you, uh, for thank being you. here. If you want to see his recaps, um, I suggest you join his Patreon, just like you joined ours. Uh, it's patreon.com forward slash Nina Bonina Brown was robbed. Uh, so make sure you check that out. Did you have a fun time, Alexis? I did. Thank you so much for hey. having me. And I'd just like to say, in lieu of an intern minute, oh, I thought you were going to cut me off. I wanted to. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you when we see you. Bye. Bye. Lee, that was... It's going to be hard to edit. <laughs> <laughs>